Hello and welcome! Today we will be doing this jewelry setting design. I will need a background for it. I already have a light blue gel polish. I applied two coats and sealed it with a top coat and cure it. And also we will need a blue rhinestones and a blue caviar beads for this design. Also, I will be using Accents Gel Play Bling On. This is the thick consistency gel. Or, if you don't have one, you can use any other builder gel with a thick consistency. I think it works the best for this kind of design, as they will not move around. Also, I will be using natural brush number 2. I'm starting my design by creating half circle on the top. Then I create another half circle on the right side. At this moment, do not worry about the lines, they should not be really perfect. This is just the foundation for our design. And then I create another circle and in the intersections of these circles, I will add a little more gel so I can place the rhinestones right there. I will use a crystal katana pickup tool for the rhinestones and also I use this triangle container. This is really convenient to work with one. And we will start by placing the larger sizes. I will use SS7, SS5 and 3. So I place the biggest one in the center and the smallest one on the sides. And it's really up to you where you want to place them, but I personally prefer to place them in the intersections of these circles and also to the sides. Now it's time to play some caviar beads. So I am taking a small amount of the bling on gel or like I said you can also use any thick consistency builder gel. I place this drop on the paper. You can use the regular paper from the forms right here and then we will take a caviar beads and mix them. So we need to create some kind of mixture, make sure that each caviar bead is completely covered with the gel. If they are good quality, they will not lose their color or anything. And by creating this mixture, we will secure them for weeks and also it will be so much easier to work with them. So after we mix them, it is time to apply. I'm taking a small amounts and place them between the rhinestones. So first I simply place them in the areas where I want this caviar beads to be and after that we will work on shaping them. I really like this method because of course, yes, you can simply apply the gel on the tip and then you can take the caviar beads one by one, but just imagine how long will it take and by creating a mixture, first of all, we kind of glue them together already, which will create a better adhesion. And also it's so much easier to work with this kind of designs when you don't really need them to be placed one by one. And when you feel like you need to add some additional rhinestone or move them around, just feel free. Because with this thick gel, they do not move around, they do not flow and you can easily shape them. I also prefer to put caviar beads between the rhinestones. This will make it look like it's a setting, like it's a jewelry. And also in terms of adhesion, it helps them to stick better as the more things and details we have around our rhinestones, the better they will last. When you are happy with the amount of the rhinestones, then we can take the same brush, make it clean and then shape our lines. I personally prefer to make them thinner in the center and a little wider as they go closer to the rhinestones. And also I like to add more caviar beads on the corners because it will make look like this jewelry is actually going outside the nail and also it gives us opportunity to make it on the other nails to make it look like this jewelry is spread on the several nails. So I am finished them in the corners and this is how I make sure that they will not go on top of each other. You can use your finger, but make sure you're wearing a glove. Also we can use the silicone brush to clean the excess gel 
which goes outside the caviar beads of the rhinestones, because after working it will look a little messy as we move them around. And simply add a little bit of cleanse and this is how we will clean them outside. If you don't have a silicone brush, you can also use an orange wood stick or any other brush. But don't use your favorite gel brush, as after pouring it with cleanse it will not work as good. So I recommend to use some separate old brush that you don't really like or the silicone brushes work the best because you, they can also shape it a little and clean it pretty well. So once we cleaned all the gel outside, then we need to cure it in LED for one minute. After curing, I'm taking no cleanse gel top coat and applying it right on top of the caviar beads and outlining them and every rhinestone. And after this step, they will be secured for weeks until the next refill. And honestly, we could stop at the previous step, simply remove the sticky layer from the gel and that's it. But if you will do it like this, then every single caviar bead will stay exactly at its place. If you want to learn more tips and tricks on working with the rhinestones, on securing them and have more ideas on what you can do with the rhinestones, check out my free bling webinar. I will leave the link down below and you can watch it. So I am carefully outlining them. You don't really need to apply too much gel top coat. As you can see, I'm doing this in a very small amount. Just make sure they are all outlined and secured. And if you added too much gel somewhere, also you can clean it by using the same clean brush or we can use the silicone brush to clean the excess gel. And then we need to cure it. And this is how the result looks like and this is another one I previously did and you can use different colors you don't need to stick to only one you can do it in multiple colors you can use different backgrounds and here are some other examples of the designs that I did so thank you so much for watching this video please let me know which color do you like the most with this design and do not forget to subscribe as on my channel i post nail art tutorials tips and tricks every week see you in my next video bye